Hello and welcome back to another episode of God's Business where I literally interview the top Christian influencers, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders on how you can create not just a good business, but God's business where he's the multiplier of your success. I have my beautiful wife here today. You actually designed this background that's behind me right now, which looks pretty phenomenal. And again, that's just marriage advice compliment your spouse for the things that they do. But excited because she just actually launched something brand new. For the people that don't know, I told this to our men's community, King's Brotherhood. That I talked about the person who pushed me the most, that believed in me the most, the one that's been one of the biggest mentors inside of my life, just with helping shift and direct us. And our spouse is oftentimes the closest person to us. So they see us in the highs, they see us in the lows. And the most encouraging thing is when they bring encouragement even in seasons that are low or where we don't think we're doing well and they see the greatness on the inside of you. She's been that person for me. So she's not only been someone inside of our household that's a phenomenal mother to our kids, she's been an amazing wife. She was a spiritual authority far before I ever met her where she was speaking to huge congregations of people, went to over a dozen different countries doing ministry. And then on top of that, has built a multi-million dollar company as COO and as a co-founder and has been a part of that entire process. And so talking about like a powerhouse of a woman, she completely is. So I'm excited for her to talk about one thing that we just rolled out for King's Brotherhood, as well as something that she's doing in a very limited form that could be super beneficial to the women that are listening to King's Brotherhood, as well as for the men that are listening, the wives, mm -hmm. the people that are inside of your life on the personal and the spiritual and on that business front. So excited to have you inside of the home studio. Well, thank you for that intro. That was awesome. I really appreciate it. And I could say the exact same thing to you. Just like, it's so cool when you're in a marriage, you are helping each other. So when one is strong, usually the other person might be a little bit more weak and they're encouraging that person. And then, you know, the vice versa. And um, it's always really, really cool. And both of us are really strong and like killing it and thriving as well. And it's also not that easy when both of us aren't feeling that good. And it's like, it's not good. Oh, when both like, I don't of us feel good. Down. And you're like, I don't feel good. And I'm like, you know, it's tough yeah. to have that feeling like you can pour out. Exactly. Uh, but also I think it's a kingdom principle as well mm -hmm. that the world says you have to have something to give it. But yeah. the kingdom talks about like, if you want something, you can create breakthroughs for others and it's sowing seeds into your own breakthrough, right? Yeah. Like treat other people how you want to be treated, mm -hmm. not just how you are treated. Yeah. It's pretty interesting as well. But yeah, I think exactly. we've gone through those seasons. Even I'm talking about my hard seasons. I was like, oh yeah, what about when she didn't sleep forever? Or, you know, after you gave birth or, you know, just different seasons that we've been through that have been super difficult. Yeah where I've had to come up to you, but just very interesting where we both have been strong, crushed it. I've been weaker, you've yeah. been strong. Like even when we started our business again and I was like, not the guy going to the events mm -hmm. and you were that person bringing the breakthrough and then, you know, in different seasons where I've had to be strong as well. Exactly. So today's uh, podcast is about something really exciting that we're launching and we're putting into the King's Brotherhood. So about what's been the purpose of it, you think like what's, but just to kind of give them the ramp up, like, What's been the point of doing this and why are we doing it now over other times and then tell them what it is? Well, I think for a long time, people would always say, Amanda, you need to start something for women. You know, Nicholas is working with men. Like you need to, to work with the women. Like when you start in your women's group and I was always like, I don't want to do it. I, it's just not my thing. Like I don't want to be the, the face of something. Like I understand how hard it is leading a community. Um, and just everything that is involved with that. And I was like, it's not my thing, it's not my place. I didn't feel like I could pour out to other women. Um, but I think because I was younger and then also like, I just have had my own like resistance to um, helping women. Like it's just always been a thing where I feel more connected to guys, I always hang out with guys. Like I'm married to you, I have a son, I have two brothers. Like I've just always been around like, just masculine energy all the time. And um, and so it was really hard for me to be like, oh, I wanna like start this women's thing. Like, oh, I love women's events. Like, no, like I'm not that person that like loves women's events. Like, it's just different for me. Like, I'm just not that type of girl. Like I have girlfriends that are like, oh, let's have sleepovers with all of our girlfriends. And I'm like, that's so weird. Like you're married now. Like I don't, I do not get that. Um, I have great girlfriends. I'm just not like, like that, I don't know. So, I was always like, no, I'm not doing it. It's not my thing. And then I think just over the last year, God has really um, worked on me and helping me heal. And then also 
um, realizing the, just the power of being more feminine. And I think I resisted that for a while and I didn't know how to do that because I ran a men's company with you and like just everything in life. And so I always felt like I was very like more masculine, um, especially in work and running a business, you kind of have to be. So anyway, that was kind of like the whole backstory. Which I think is smart though, like running a business like King's Brotherhood and men's community yeah people always tell you, oh, go do the women version because that makes so much sense. Yeah, or and I think they we tell were just you to so serve, focused. They tell you to serve people that you're not meant to serve mm -hmm. and they want you to like break out to the next thing. It's like we have our friends that ran Lady Boss and everyone's like, make Man Boss. <laughs> For us as well, it was like we have King's Brotherhood. We want It's a men's community. We're keeping it men's even though we know there are other people that need what we have. We've been called to certain people. I like that yeah. you touched on for that year. God was kind of working on you. Because at the end of the day, that's really what we'd want is mm -hmm. what does God want us to do? And if we can stay in that path, that's yeah. that's ultimately what we want. But then mm -hmm. logically as well, we saw from my perspective was the guys inside of our community. I remember 2019 in Florida, one of the guys that had been in, in at the time, Billion Dollar Brotherhood, our men's mastermind, he was like, man, I was thinking about like, should I renew in this mastermind? Should I not? And my wife heard me in a call and you were talking and she came in. She's like, you better renew in this because she had just caught a glimpse of not yeah. only his transformation, but knowing where it came from. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that the, the women that were involved or just knew what yeah. was going on, they were always pushing the men forward. I think it was also confirmation for the guys that their breakthrough was seen and their wife honored the investment they were making. Because yeah. for some reason, guys have this weird thought that, Oh, I don't know if my wife would want me to invest money in myself, think, which is just yeah. so funny it's because so it's true. like, uh, I don't know. I think they'd like to not have to tell you everything all the time and just have you naturally grow and become that leader. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why I always tell the guys we bat a thousand with women, but there are women that just aren't as involved or they don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And so the guys don't have that feedback. So they're like, oh, should I be doing this? Should I be a part of it? Like they need help as well. Yeah. And so when we were thinking about it, even for King's Brotherhood uh, with, you know, the name that you can release to everyone here in a second was really around how do we keep King's Brotherhood peer men's community for Christian businessmen have breakthrough. And then also on top of that, create a space for the women inside of the community mm -hmm. to connect because they all have so many similarities, whether they're a stay-at-home mom to COO to running their own company and being the face of it, they have so many similarities. And then on top of that for you, when I brought that to you, you were like, oh, that's so crazy because I actually had this idea for doing this thing that would go right alongside of that and in yeah. a capacity. And you literally woke up at like five in the morning and you built out the entire funnel, all the, like the blueprint for the entire thing. And yeah. All of that was done within like 24 hours, which would have been yeah. like $15,000 worth of, of work that you just like crushed out. Yeah. yeah, I think when God gives you an idea and a like a business plan, he gives you the grace to do it. Like that's how I knew it was God because I literally woke up at 5 a.m. and I was like so pumped that I like had to wake up, write everything down and do it because it just was, it made me so excited and I think something that I'm trying to even discover more of, of like when you're operating inside of God's grace, like things are easy, like his burden is light. And so business doesn't have to be so hard. And I think when we're trying to like strive in our own like flesh, it, that's when it gets really hard. And knowing like I can lean on God's strength and his inspiration, his creative ideas. And so um, I'm really excited because we are launching the Queens Collective. So every single wife um, that their husband joins the King's Brotherhood, they will be invited into a special group with me and the other wives um, into a group called the Queens Collective where every single week or every single month we will be doing uh, an expert call with like a connection call with that. So we'll bring in an amazing, amazing speaker. I already have all the ladies lined up for the next year um, that will be our experts. And then, so we'll do that. And then at the end, we'll break out into breakout rooms and just connect as women. So what's really cool is not every single wife is a business owner involved at all, but they're stay at home moms, but they're all married to an entrepreneur. And so that's what's so cool. And that's what can, um, connect us together. And then we'll have like our daily Voxer group where we can all like chat and pray for each other. 
Um, so it's just really cool because I think a lot of the men always ask like, where can my wife get involved in something? And it was always hard for us to be like, oh, this community or that community, like it didn't feel like there was a good fit. And if there was a really good community, it was like just for business women. And then we're like, okay, well, we can't, they're not really into business. We can't send them there. And so now we've just created a place for them to connect and grow alongside of their husband, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, I'm excited for it too. And, and even your passion with it on the side of, you were like, well, there's other women that I'd like to actually pour into. And so kind of talk about, yeah. though I was bringing it because I was going, okay, this is going to be phenomenal for King's Brotherhood. This would be such a good value add for them. It'll be great for the women, like you said, that there wasn't really a great place to send them necessarily because they wanted yeah. to connect with, like be more involved. So they're going to know the wives of the guys that their guys are talking about. Like, hey, mm-hmm. oh, I talked to this guy. And like, oh, wow, I connect with the their family, I know what's going on as well. And so it just kind of connects everyone. But there were certain people that you wanted to go deeper with as well. And that's when you were like, well, I want to take Mm -hmm. on a handful of people and obviously drop like where people can apply for that. But yeah, I thought that was really cool. Yeah. So along with the Queens Collective, I was like, I really want to just um, get into the coaching space. It's something that I haven't been involved with for a little while. And I think because the, the grace wasn't there for me to do it. And I mean, and, and like, as an example, like, I don't think you've taken a coaching call since 2015. <laughs> no, I've not taken a coaching call since 2015. Was it? I think 2015. It yeah. has to be. Yeah. Cause that's, so we, I did health coaching for a little while yeah. and, um, that was fun, but, um, you know, health is, is so surfacey. And I think what's so cool about the coaching that I'm going to do now is that it's very spiritual based. It's, you know, me praying over the women, it's me prophesying over them. It's me pouring into them spiritually. Um, and then obviously talking about the other areas of their life with their faith, their family, their finances. And so, um, just really as a whole women feeling like I have a place to, or really a person that is pouring into me. And um, there's not a lot of one-on-one coaching for women because it's a higher investment. And so many people think, well, all women, you know, they don't have any money. So they have to do like a big group program or here's an ebook that you can read or a little course you can go through. And I'm like, no, like to create real transformation, it's one-on-one intentional coaching. And obviously you said that I have coached you and pushed you. So I feel like, well, you know what, then I feel like that qualifies me. And um, I feel like God is really just equipping me in in the the ministry side of things that when we as women can fully understand our purpose in God and understand his voice and our gifts, then like every area of our life will thrive. Like we're not going to feel burnout anymore because we are walking with him hand in hand. We're not going to feel overwhelmed, depressed, anxious, we're going to have that like solid foundation and that's going to affect every area of our life. Because for me, I wish I had this a few years ago because I was in not a very good place and I didn't have people checking in on me. And I wish I had someone like, Hey, how are you doing? How can I pray for you? Like constantly checking in on me and we all live very busy lives. So it's hard for people to do that for each other. And so having a coach, that's what they're paid to do and they do their job. Well, I think that's, um, you know, I think it can be transformational. And even how you built this, you have so many business, like accolades, accolades, accolades. Yeah. And and so on that side, even though that's not what your whole coaching is about, like the yeah. fact that you have the understanding of that, the understanding of what it's like to be married to an entrepreneur. But also on top of that, I just feel that there's like so many strengths that you have. That, well, thank you, and, man. and a lot of your strengths have come from the areas of weakness for you though. Mm-hmm. Like you've had people pouring into you recently like, wow, this has been so impactful to me. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, I want to create a space where we can do that in a way that's super impactful for other women. Yeah. Um, And so, and for the guys too, it's, it's easy to think of, oh, I like to invest in this business thing because it gives me an ROI or I want to invest in this coach or this high performance thing because it's all about this like super tangible result at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And when I think about other things, I'm like, man, like, would they feel the same way about if their wife wanted that support and that growth? Is it all about just like this certain crazy outcome or would they be able to see the vision of the outcome that that could create for their, their home and their wives? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, like I love the quote that talks about like 
if you think coaching is expensive, like wait until you get like the bill for divorce. Mm -hmm. And it's like 50% of everything you own. And so, yeah. you know, though that's not the only thing, it's, it's uh, people also say that you think education is expensive, like wait till you get the, the check for, or the, the cost or the bill for ignorance. Yeah. Because like you miss out on so much. And so I, I think there's something there as well that I think we've overlooked and have looked at more now, which was at first it was like, how do we grow the business? Yeah. And then it was like, oh, wow, like, how do we, if we grow the business, it's not the answer. Jim Carrey says, I hope, I, I hope that every person in the world gets everything they've ever wanted mm -hmm. because one, so that they would realize that it's not what they need. Like, yeah, it's not, it's not the, it's not the answer. Happy. Yeah. And so it's like, well, how do we also put those two things together where you're able to work on your mission, be walking in the will of God plus walking in happiness knowing yeah. that you're fulfilling something big and so for the for the men that are there that want to put in their women's information or the women that are out there what's the actual place that they go so that i don't uh, forget that you can go to amandabarely.com and just fill out the application there we'll be in touch um like i said i'm only taking a handful of women um, but it's going to be really awesome we're going to do like a vip day here in austin at a luxury spa because what woman doesn't like a spa day um uh, i think what's really really um going to be impactful for the women is is knowing that like their biggest breakthrough in life is their spiritual growth and yeah we're going to tackle like their relationships we're going to tackle the finances but when you finally understand your purpose and your mission in in god's plan like you are unstoppable you don't have the self-doubt you walk in confidence um, like just today, like I was meeting with a friend and, you know, she was talking to me about her offer that she's doing in her business. And she was like, yeah, I'm going to do this, like maybe month to month or like a three month minimum of this membership. And I was like, well, why don't you just do the price for the full year? Like, why are you only having women commit to three months? Like, cause she told me that for them to really get a transformation, it's gonna take them six months to a year to really get what they want. Yeah. And I was like, well, why are you selling themselves short with only doing three months? Like for her, I think it was a limiting belief that someone would sign up for a full year membership rather than just like dabbling in for like a month or two. And it's like when you can realize an abundance mindset and a like, just like, a growth mindset and not like a fear of like, well, I don't know if people will pay this and the confidence, then like, like who knows what will happen to your business? You know, like she was probably gonna make like this amount of money on a webinar and she, now she's probably gonna make this much amount of money on her webinar because she just changed like, oh yeah, if I'm trying to attract successful women, I'm gonna charge this premium price for the full year because this is actually the thing that's gonna work for them. Yeah, and, and we know that then you can sell outcome Mm -hmm. because they're experiencing a they're going to get a certain outcome for that yeah and people come to you we talked about sales is kind of like a doctor like people come to you with problems they tell yeah. you their problems the doctor assesses it they show social proof that hey we've dealt with this forever this is the diagnosis this is the problem mm -hmm. we have a thousand other patients that have been through this this is how they've gotten over it here's how we prescribe to get over it and they're looking for someone who has confidence in that and if you as that person are prescribing that they want what's actually going to give them the result exactly and so you should sell them what actually is going to give them the result and obviously yeah. use that result to sell them but that she's the expert yeah and just like one example of that so so excited for queens collective what we have going on mandabarely.com yeah. for the people that want to check it out for the guys in king's brother that watch this like it's the uh, queens collective that side of it's all rolled into what we're doing so excited for that yeah and excited for you to crush it i'm i'm pumped thanks babe I was a little nervous though, because I was like, it's going to take time away, but, <laughs> but I, I know we're, we're willing to do it still. Yeah. I, I, I feel like I'm more productive now, even with having the two focuses. I think I'm more productive because I'm more like, I'm more excited about it. It's exciting. So you know? go to amandabailey.com. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, you totally should because my wife is so cute. You can hit the subscribe button. There's a little bell there for all the interviews and all the solo episodes and what we have going on, all the content. You can see that even in the short section, completely different than what we do on the long form content. And then on every single podcast platform, you can stream this where you can just listen to it as well. Thanks for the support on God's business.